Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I had a subscriber request to do flip throughs of all of Kirby's books. Now I know the vast majority of us have seen all of these books, but this individual wanted to see all of these. So I'm not going to go real slow through them. I'm going to, you know, do the flip throughs relatively fast, but I wanted to give her an idea of what is in each of these books. I'm not sure if I have them in the correct order or not as far as when they were published. Um, and I I uh, believe I have all of them except for one of the compilation uh, books. I do have this, which is um, a compilation, but I think he had one more, didn't he? And I know his new one is coming out shortly here in the States. It's already out um, over in the UK, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, But we have to wait till next month for it. Um, I should be getting it shortly though because you can order it off of Book Depository which ships worldwide for free. So uh, I should be having his latest one coming shortly. So I don't have to wait till next month. <laughs> okay, so this is his very first book and this is called Anamorphia. Now his first books were a little bit different um, than his most current books and I think it's because he had gotten feedback um, due to the fact that people don't like to fill in and draw, they just want to color and you'll see what I mean if you're not familiar with his books. Here is this beautiful nameplate page which of course you can color in. Here's a welcome page. And then we get into the pages themselves. Now, Kirby's books are double-sided. Um, and his first few books had a lot of these little doodly guys in throughout his um, artwork. So very all of Kirby's books, as we know, are very, very detailed. Now, like here... It says, create more creatures riding the waves. Well, most of us don't do that. I would say 99% of us are not going to do that, <laughs> right? I couldn't draw like that if my life depended on it. This guy is just gorgeous, but yes, very, very detailed. Of course, all you got to do is take, you know, a marker and, you know, do some every day, color in a few little things, right? Whether it's, now you wouldn't want to use alcohol based because that will, you know, bleed through the next page. You want to use water based material on here. And the paper is, is relatively nice quality. So um, I think your uh, water based um, and your watercolor material would work well in here. I know I've used ink tents in these books already. Here it says, fill the ram's horns with doodles. Again, that wouldn't be for me. Stampede. Look at all the different animals in there. This is one I had started a long time ago and I really did not like the way it was coming out. This is with ink tents. Um, I guess I should someday try to get back at that and try to fix it and <laughs> had good intentions there fill the butterflies with detail mm, yeah not here and again the the name for these books the morphia is because these animals are morphing into you know all these other little fiddly bits you know, decorate the feathers. Here's the eagle morphing. Another bad thing about these is, you know, all of the pictures go into the spine, and that's always difficult. Complete the zebra stripes. Here we have the pack of wolves. Our fish, I have seen these colored many times, and they're just gorgeous. Fill the page with bats. 
There's the owls for you owl lovers. I have seen almost all of these pictures colored and oh, they're just so gorgeous. If you've never seen Dee Dee Willingham's channel, go and check out. She did some very unique things on this particular page where she cut out paper to fit each of these turtles and then put them down rather than drawing in here. She took, you know, different kinds of papers and cut them out and it was really fun to watch. So yeah, all kinds of animals that are morphing into these little doodly characters. Look at that one. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I've seen a, this one colored a number of times, too. I think this is the one that Dee Dee Willingham did. Because I remember cutting around these, uh, all the little claws on the alligators. Yeah, okay. And this is the guy from... Uh, Nope. Where did I see that then? Huh. Okay. I was wrong. And we have some roosters. Not as many little doodly guys on that one. These are a little bit bigger. Some of them really get teeny tiny and detailed. See, so he had a lot of pictures in this one where you were supposed to finish the doodles. And yeah, I think he got a lot of feedback on that where people didn't care for that quite so much. And so I think he uh, changed things up a little bit. Kind of like how Johanna Basford, Secret Garden and stuff, she used to, you know, have you guys draw, you know, stuff in. And she really doesn't do that anymore. So here is your search and find if you can find all of these items throughout the book. You know, you could just cross them off as you find them. So it is kind of a search and find book also. And then it has the answers in the back where all of these items are found in the book. So we won't look at the answers. <laughs> all right, so that is Anamorphia. Then we had Imagimorphia. And I know a lot of people loved this book. This is the fave of a number of people. Here's our nameplate page. Again, exact same format as Anamorphia. Double-sided, so yeah, no alcohol markers unless you're willing to give up, you know, the other side. Look at that steampunk butterfly. Look at all them butterflies. Oh, so pretty. This is one I actually did. This is um, in Ink Tents. Did that back in May of 16. Wow, long time ago. <laughs> This one had, uh, has a lot of like floral and leaves in it. This is another one I seen Dee Dee do with stickles. Oh, it looked so neat. Let's move over a little. There I'm assuming you're supposed to draw again. But you notice there's not as many of them in this book. Look at this. Oh, so many doodles. All the jackrabbits. Here we have some more steampunk. A lot of steampunk in this book. one 
is not quite as detailed as the others. I love the flowers and stuff in this one. As you can tell, I haven't done much in these books. I get real intimidated by pictures like this. <laughs> And I have to get over that. I always feel like I'm going to absolutely ruin it. And it's like, ah, you know, if you do, you do. A lot of times you can fix it. Sometimes you can't, but it's a coloring book. It's what you bought it for, right? But, yeah. And I can't look at the picture as a whole. I, uh, you know... I have to tell myself to just concentrate on little pieces at a time because, yeah, when I look at the picture as a whole, yeah, it really overwhelms me. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Here are some more items that you are supposed to find throughout the book. And then the answers. So that was his second book, Imagimorphia. And... Let's see, did, did Geomorphia come next or Mythomorphia? I'm not so sure. Let's go with Mythomorphia. I think this was the next one, wasn't it? Now I know this one for sure is a lot of people's favorites. And I would say it's right up there on my list too. <laughs> and this one seems to have a little bit thicker paper to it. Here's your nameplate page. Yeah, maybe not. This feels real smooth. Feels a little different. Eh, maybe not. So we just have our mytho mythological type of characters that are morphing into other things. Look at these elves. Dwarves. Right? Dwarves, yeah. I've seen that one done a number of times too. And it's just gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous dragon. Mm. A lot of double page spreads in these books. Oh, this is so pretty. As you can tell, I have not broken the spine on this one yet. As I have not colored out of it. How many people have all of Kirby's books and are you looking forward to his new one? I've seen a number of flip throughs of it and it looks beautiful. Let's push this baby down. It's getting hard to turn. There, yeah, that helps some. So, to the individual that requested these flip-throughs, I hope this is giving you an idea of what is in each book. Kind of a little bit of the differences between them. I like this one too. All the pretty flowers. He's just so talented. I can't imagine the amount of work that goes like into a page like this. Oh. And again, we have our items that uh, you have to find throughout the book and then the answer key. So 
So that one again is Mythomorphia. And then we'll get into, now Geomorphia and Phantomorphia. These are his thinner books, and normally this probably would have been combined into one book, um, but from what I have heard, Kirby and his publisher kind of had a, a disagreement on this, but the publisher evidently won out, and they published them as two separate books rather than just one, but the same price. So, <laughs> It is thinner, but it is still a neat book. So this is Geomorphia, except for what, what country was that where they received them both together in one book? Ah, I can't remember. But yeah, there there is a version out there where they're both combined into one book. So here we go with the nameplate page. So, as you can imagine, Geomorphia is going to have a lot of your prisms and crystals and, you know, things like that. We have the volcano. geological things. There's the tornado morphing. That is so cool. <laughs> All the balloons. Look at all the stalactites. Look at all the seahorses. I've seen this one colored a number of times too. Look at that snail. Now this one, as you notice, because the books are in two separate books, are single-sided. So you could use your alcohol markers in here. I forgot to mention that. And again, here are some items that you look for throughout the book. And the answers. Okay, the second part to this is the Phantomorphia. Name plate page. And then the pictures themselves. Now again, this one is single-sided. So it was the one good feature about splitting these books out into two is the fact that they are single-sided. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. So here we have a lot of fantasy type of things. Here we have the steampunk cat. More steampunk. I love it. I have seen this done a number of times too and it's beautiful. So yeah, there's a lot of steampunk in here. Even a steampunk spider. Oh, I love this too. Oh, I could see doing this in gel pens. Hmm, might have to keep this one out. <laughs> cool Halloween one. Oh, steampunk peacock. Look at that owl. That's gorgeous. Wow, look at all them roses. All different kinds of bugs. 
and we have that wolf. Now, unfortunately, this was a double page spread. You only have half of it in here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, see it, it, yeah, it was. And if you notice, the cover is the front and the back. So it's unfortunate that we don't have, you know, that was one thing a lot of people were a little upset about. And again, more things to look for throughout the book. Now the last one that I have is called Color Morphia. And again, this is kind of a compilation of the best of the best from all of his books. So it is a little bit thicker. And you're gonna notice this book's a little bit different. There are some colored pictures in here. Um, and what Kirby did, isn't this beautiful, um, is he highlighted some of his fans colored in pictures um, and look at this oh just stunning so in the beginning of the book you're going to see some colored in versions of his pictures and he gives each of them credit with their name and then a little bit um, a little bit of text describing how they colored in that particular picture so yeah, just gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't that stunning. Oh, to be able to color like this. <laughs> and these are real glossy sheets up in the front. Look at these jellyfish. Mm. There's the one I did, but boy, it didn't turn out like that. <laughs> okay, and then we get into the actual coloring book itself so it says coloring section and as his previous books with the exception of the two half books <laughs> they are double-sided and you will recognize all of these pictures from some of the previous books so if you messed one of them up and you're like oh, I ruined it just buy this book and you may have another chance to do it. Because <laughs> there are some pictures from all of his other books. There's that spider. Now the paper in here is extremely thick. It would take anything you throw at it. With the exception, again, of your alcohol mediums because it will bleed through. But it would take water color, you know, mediums beautifully. Water-based markers, as long as you're not scrubbing in one space too long because eventually it will, you know, go through to the other side or at least ghost to the other side. So again, if you wanted to just try out one of Kirby's books, this color Morphia might be a good one to try out because it is a compilation of the best of the best of his all of his previous books. Look at this one. Isn't that stunning? That would take me five years to do. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that beautiful bird that an individual colored in. There's those jellyfish. And I'm sure you can, there's some swans from the beginning of the book too. You will recognize all of these pictures from the previous books. But yeah, the paper in here is just, you know, wonderfully thick. There's that one I had attempted. <laughs> I could try it over again. There's those owls. Of 
And then this beautiful one, and this is the one that's on the front of the um, Anamorphia, is it? No. Well, it's very similar. Boy, I'm just not getting it right, am I? Okay, then it um, talks about his other books. Um, so he lists each of those out in here. Okay, and that is the back cover. So again, this is a little bit thicker. I think also due to the fact of the super heavy duty paper in that book. So there you have it. All of Kirby's books to date. Like I said, I, I believe there is another compilation one that I did not get. I may be wrong on that because I decided to get this one. But I thought, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody let me know in the comments below um, so others can read it and, uh, and straighten me out on that. But Okay, so to the individual who wanted the flip-throughs of this, um, again, I hope this gives you an idea of what each of these books are like. Maybe to help you determine if you want to get the newest one, too, for those of you who have not seen these. Um, so thank you for clicking on and for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip throughs. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.